This is the grade 7 TCAP practice test. This is question number 61 in the math section. Which point best represents the location of the square root of 60 on the number line? Now, the number line is in integer form here. They have 7, 8, blah, blah, blah. Um, so what we need to do is figure out what the square root of 60 is as a in decimal form. So go ahead and, if you have a calculator handy, uh, type in the square root of 60. It would be 7.74. or 7.75 more or less. Now the reality is you can figure it out without knowing that information. If you know what the squares are, so like 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9, uh, let's skip some, 5 times 5 is 25, uh, might as well not skip any, uh, 6 times 6 is 36, 7 times 7 is 49, 8 times 8 is 64. So the square root of 60, if we're doing square roots, remember it just goes backwards, would be somewhere between 7 and 8. So what we're going to do is look for a point that's somewhere between 7 and 8, which would be, of course, y. So the answer to number 61 is c. Let's talk about something that they might trick you up with a little bit. For instance, and by the way, 7.75 between 7 and 8, so that makes it easier. If it would be negative, it's not in this situation, but if it was negative, say they gave you negative square root of 60. And by the way, they won't give you the square root of negative 60. That's imaginary numbers and a whole other headache. Anyway, if it was negative, it would be negative 7.75. It's a different relationship. You have to find out that it goes between negative 7 and negative 8. So if they give you this, it's real easy to pick it. But really, negative 7.75 is almost negative 8, so you'd have to pick the point that's almost at negative 8. But that only occurs in the situation where you have negatives. This is not a negative. It's a positive. It's way easier than that. So you can do it with a calculator. You can do it without. However you have to do it, the answer to number 61 is, of course, as I mentioned, C.